I've been always interested in uh, the immune system and its role in fighting against cancers. These new drugs known as immune checkpoint inhibitors were transformational when I was in training. At the same time, even though they were extraordinarily effective, they weren't working in every patient. There is a, a strong scientific evidence that some bacteria in the stool, in the gut, right, can uh, modulate response to immunotherapy. We started thinking, you know, are there potentially ways in which you can alter the uh, effects of the treatment by altering the commensal? Well, it could be transferred from the people in whom it works to the people in whom it doesn't work. And as it turns out, that's called a fecal transplant. And that's where uh, Dr. Davar and I uh, decided to team up, right, to say, what can we do in this area to really show that it's promising and that it's worth uh, working in this area. So the very first patient we treated was a 53-year-old patient, and he came to us from Ohio. What we noticed to our you know, tremendous astonishment was that the cancer started regressing. So we thought that any uh, you know, response uh, above 10, 15% would be very encouraging, right? And in this trial, we got uh, nearly 40% of response. That was uh, great news. So that means that potentially this entire approach could work in many, many, many different cancers. This is a, a new uh, option for people who do not respond to uh, standard of care. I think it's very hard to communicate how excited we were because it was a relatively out-of-the-box idea when we started, and to actually see it come to fruition is really quite indescribable. Thank you, PNC and Luz Costello, for the PNC Elsie Hillman Distinguished Scholar Award. It is a great honor for us to get this award. Thank you very much for your support. Thank you.